Good morning, everybody. Hi. It's a good day. I've been talking about this a little bit this it's past week. Day. I wanted to wait till I was with Britt to explain everything to you. We're here at our fertility clinic again. It's transfer day. Our final embryo from Theo's batch. So this embryo's got a lot to live up to. Yeah, Theo is pretty perfect. So, and we're not saying that because we're biased. He's actually a pretty good kid. He's a great kid. He sleeps 12 hours a night and you know, have a good three, four hour nap. And He's it, he's getting a little bit whiny now, but yeah, the only the only fault I would really say is that he's got mom's attitudes. So, oops. <laughs> maybe the next one will be more chill, like daddy. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So we've been on this IVF journey for many years now already, mm -hmm. and we've gotten one child out of it. Uh, this is our likely our last shot at parenthood or growing our family. Growing our family, yeah. Yeah. So he had. Uh, Britt's gone through two egg retrievals and the second one was completely uh, unsuccessful. We got nothing out of it. But the first one, we got these two embryos that made it. One is Theo and this is the second one. Another double A, which is really good quality for an embryo for those of you who don't know. So yeah, I am, I am pumped. This is, this has to work. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good in my soul. So, so if our we end up having a second child and you're watching this in the future sometime this is the day right here where we first I guess started this journey where we first met you technically technically yeah you we hope it works we hope you're there all right here we go I'm running on full this thing is almost empty oh no I hope I don't pee on the doctor if you're watching, I don't know what doctor I'm getting today, but if you're watching and I do pee on you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Doctor's orders, you have to go in with a full bladder. It helps lift your bladder off your, for those of you who don't know, too much info, it helps lift your bladder off your uterus so that it opens up and they get a better view for implantation. I'm, I'm just here. I'm here for it. Even I got a special suit. Dressed in his finest. I've got little booties and a hairnet to keep all my hair on. Even I feel special. We just got this picture taken. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I think we're next. So. All I gotta do yet is put on these little booties and my mask before I go in there. And so like I hoped for those. So that's what that I is the embryo. Yeah. And like then we had a boy. And I was like, just watch the sound because I'm hoping for a boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the year one teacher. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole world. That is so cool. There's a the baby. Are you ready? Heck yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. We're making a baby. <laughs> it is a grade three double A embryo. Yeah, it's a gooder, just like Theo. Lot to live up to. He's pretty amazing. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Woo! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Go team. Subway. That is the dinner of champions. Lunch of champions. She's my champion. Just a quick lunch because in one hour from exactly now, I have to go for another uh, intralipid infusion. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Um, so uh, it's like uh, egg fats and proteins and uh, so they inject it into your veins over the course of an hour and it deactivates, helps to deactivate the killer cells in your uterus from fighting off an embryo thinking it's, you know, like a foreign body or, or like uh, an infection or something. So yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I have one and that done. goes in through an IV, right? Yes. It takes about an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Okay. At the place I All went right. to with Theo, it was like a two hour process each time. So. Okay, they've yeah. spe sped it up a little bit. Yeah. They have everything at the same clinic now, because when we transferred Theo, it was a different clinic. They've moved to a better area and a better facility. 
much better. So everything yeah. is all centralized now, which is nice. You go to one place. You don't go to like three different places. Mm -hmm. Less traffic, less stress I'm getting there. Definitely. I prefer this area for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the transfer is done. And uh, so then we're just, we've got to hope for a good implantation. Got the embryo in on the first try, just like Theo. Mm -hmm. So no stubborn babies. Well, he's stubborn now, but he didn't start out stubborn. Very, very easygoing baby. So. And we were corrected. It's not a double A. He was. This one was a triple A. Oh well, no, it's a three double A. Three double A. So there's three doubles. <laughs> you would have to look up the Two, the egg four, or the embryo quality chart. It's it's complicated. It's scientific. I'm the husband. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just a chauffeur. <laughs> Anyways, it was a really good one. That's what I understood. Yeah. Right? Really good embryo. Mm -hmm. We had a picture of it there. I probably shared it in here already. That was the actual... That was... That's what's going to grow into a baby. Isn't that crazy? We got to see Theo when he was that big too. Like, yeah. Not this big. He was like microscopic. But like a grain of salt. Like a grain of salt. We got to see it in the microscope. And now look at him. He's at home with his Oma right now. With my mom. Yeah. But uh, look at him now. Big boy. It's a big boy. Big healthy boy. Yeah. We're going to get another one. Yeah. All right, we're back. And Britt is all set up. They haven't got the IV in yet, though, right? No, this is to help my veins pop out because I have tiny, tiny little veins. They're very stubborn. He's always got a hard time getting the IV in. Yeah, so we're just warming them up to help them raise to the surface a little. Okay. And then that's what it is up there. <laughs> That's interesting. Perfect shirt for today. Just taking it easy. Mm -hmm. So we're back at home and we figured we'd explain to you everything that was going on there. So in the morning, we got there and they did the transfer. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Subway and then we came back and you did the infusions. Well, it was supposed to be one infusion. What was it? It was six nurses eight needles, and two attempts at infusion, and we only got 90% done. Yeah. They couldn't find a good vein. I don't have good veins. They're itty bitty bitty bitty. And the the liquid, the intralipids, which is just pure fat, is too thick, and so every time it would start going into my veins, it would push the needles right out of there, and uh, it would start infusing under my skin. And uh, the first one got really painful. Pain started coming in my pinky, my ring finger, and my thumb, and my elbow. And uh, I had like pockets of fluid underneath my skin. And then uh, five other nurses came in and tried to get needles in there. And finally, the last one, the fifth one, was able to get one. And uh, it happened again, unfortunately, when there was still 12% 12, 12 left to go or 20% left to go. And then by the time the doctor came and said, don't worry about it, let's just take it out, you're good to go. Um, yeah, we had 90% in there, so it still gets into my system, it's just not exactly a direct path when it goes under your skin and it's painful. So, so what were these infusions? Like, What, uh, what do they do? Um, the theory is, and it's not 100% proven, but... Uh, what it's supposed to do, or they hope that it does, is the, the fat uh, deactivates the killer cells in your uterus from uh, fighting things off, like infections and things. And so it won't recognize 
like um, the embryo. It's a foreign body or a threat, and it won't try to kill the embryo. Okay, so it gives the embryo a better, more, more, more of a fighting, fighting chance. chance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was interesting to watch. It's uh, <laughs> interesting gosh. to watch her get those uh, the IVs. They just can't get the IV into her veins. No, pretty never... badly bruised, especially. So all those ladies are trained labor and delivery nurses as well. They don't deliver babies there anymore, but they've all trained in that, and at least most of them. And uh, so their their tricks are to do like uh, veins on the top of the arms and the bottoms, not so much in the in the bendy parts. And so they even tried those, and uh, still my veins suck. Even my one good vein, it was so painful when she put it in. We had to take it out right away because I couldn't mm -hmm. stand it. I mean, I'd do anything for this baby, but we're embryo. I I consider it a baby because mm -hmm. it's been transferred in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot that uh, goes into the whole IVF process, that's for sure. I've learned a lot over the past few years. Don't make assumptions based on movies and TV shows. They do not show the reality. They show a very small percentage of what actually happens, and it's usually inaccurate. It's just an idea of what happens and humorous like it's it's not realistic at all so you're on bed rest now well not bed rest but partial i'm supposed to take it easy, take it easy. not pick up theo for about three days it's just gonna be rough but so that embryo that i showed you there on the screen that was the actual baby that that's remember we showed you a picture of theo when he looked like that mm -hmm. look at him now Crazy, that's how we all start. Just a little, just a little clump like that. That's a little life. We will find out if he or she is uh, thriving on December 2nd. But I have a good feeling. We have a good feeling, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, are we going to wait a while? We might want to wait a while to announce. If you're yeah. pregnant. Or... Either way, I mean. Yeah, we might be too excited to keep our mouths shut. Yeah, we waited the 12 weeks last time, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anyways. And, yeah. yeah. Now I start the butt needles and continue oh, yeah. on the medications that I'm on. And so how many needles do you have to take every day now? Uh, only one every three days, starting day after transfer. Okay. Yeah. And then lots of like prescriptions and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, 12 pills plus my two regular pills, so 14 pills plus a vitamin a day. 15 pills. It's crazy. And you know, there's uh, with all of these uh, meds and prescriptions that these ladies have to take during uh, IVF, we've been talking like, you know, IVF is pretty new. It only really got started in the, well, maybe, well, was it 40 years ago now? No, it was more than that. Uh, it started around 69. First okay. baby didn't come until 1978. So there's been no lifelong, like long-term studies on the effects of all of these hormones and drugs on the women's body. And you can't find anything on the internet. Everything yeah. is hidden. I've tried. I've scoured. And uh, long-term effects, you can't find a single thing on it. So I guess we're sort of still in the finding out process. But we're... Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it all goes well. Yeah. <laughs> Get our babies out of it. Josh suggests... Oh gosh, I can't speak right now. <laughs> Josh suggested that I really focus on my health after next baby is born. Because mm -hmm. we don't know what my poor body's going to feel like. Well, yeah, because all of the drugs you've had to go on, like this has been multiple years now already. Yeah. So IVF mm. isn't just taxing on your physical health either. It's really, and financial well-being, it's really taxing on your mental health, especially if you have mental health issues to begin with. So it's uh, just a heads up for you ladies. I, I believe, obviously, it's still worth it because Theo, he's mm -hmm. incredible. I would not take back any of this because yes. of him, but it's, uh, yeah, definitely take care of your mental health. Mm -hmm. And surround yourself with supportive people because it's uh, extremely taxing and 
Just because you get a baby out of it does not mean that the trauma is gone after. But it's amazing what uh, what technology, what science has made possible mm -hmm. for us already. Like we got our family because of this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we we'll get one more. Perfect, healthy, beautiful, misbehaved toddler out of the deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A screaming baby boy. Gosh, he was an easy baby. <laughs> but I tell you. Toddlerhood is not for the week. <laughs> but anyway, so that was uh, what we were up to today. We'll have the big news soon, hopefully. Hopefully, keep all your fingers and toes crossed. Hopefully, we'll have something good to report on Monday. And we'll talk to you later. <laughs>